So in this lab, what we have is we have an air track set up to minimize friction, and we have two photo gates, and these will give you times to travel through the photo gate, and a time to travel through this photo gate, as well as it'll keep track of how long it takes to get from the first to the second. And so what we're going to do is we have a cart here, and we're going to turn this on in a second, place this here, and let it go. And when we do, there's going to be a force from the tension of the string that originates here where we have hanging mass, very low mass. So the experiment run down looks like this. Okay, we'll go one more time without me interfering with the process. And so now what we can do is we can go ahead and we can take a look at how long it took for that to travel from one end to the other. And so going through gate B took this many seconds. Going through gate A took this many seconds. Actually, I think that's reversed. So, going through the first gate here took this many seconds. Going through the second gate took this many. So it's traveling faster as we get to the end. And then the time to get from one to the other is this. Now from those three values we can calculate what the acceleration of that cart was. And then we can compare that to what we would expect it to be based on the masses of these two things. So the last thing we would need to do here is get the masses of these and those you can find at the bottom of the page in the description.